Well, oh yeah, life goes on. Bitcoin's rallying today, and so are the altcoins. Guys, Bitcoin overdose here, your daily dose of crypto. I overdose, so you guys don't have to. Definitely go follow me over at Bitcoin Overdose on Twitter. Your daily dose of crypto. Buy that dip. One Bitcoin always equals one Bitcoin. Right now, your stock image crypto chick for followers. I'm still rocking it. Almost up to 280 followers over there. Definitely hit that subscribe button. We're almost getting up to 200 over here, guys. Smack that like or dislike button, depending on how good my singing was. I don't care about the rest of the video. But what I will tell you guys, we are going over Bitcoin dominance because I still find it the most fascinating aspect of this entire market. We're going to be taking a look at BAT because it did do quite well yesterday. And, you know, Digibyte, VET, some of the ones that I was talking about the other day are actually doing very well. Um, I think Zillic was up like 30%. I've been chilling that forever. Always chill the Zill. Also, guys, buy Bitcoin and chill. But also, uh, what else? Oh, yeah, we took a look at ADA. Then we took a look at Verge. And those are all all doing very well during this whole bull. This little mini bull run. I don't know what we're going to call it yet. But I'm just saying that the, the bull market was never over. I, I really am coming to that conclusion. I think we're going to be in a very big bull run this next coming year or two so you know bitcoin's just going to perpetually go up we're in a new paradigm nothing's ever going to stop going down guys i'm totally kidding uh but you know we will see corrections but holy shit like we just saw a 75 percent correction in 2018 from the all-time high and we are headed right down right now and we're hovering around 6400 now right now i got the 21 day moving average but you remember i only really keep it up for the monthly because just as long as we hold above this, guys, we are ready for a good rest of the year. I'm really hoping we close green today or this month because that'll be really like the confirmation of a bull reversal, which is what I'm really waiting for. And not only that, guys, it would just be good to see some green. Our portfolio has been fucking the shit out of us lately. So we'd be, you know, really lucky to just have a general uptrend again. And also on top of that, these altcoins are rallying like crazy right now. I mean, with Bitcoin chilling where it is, 6,400, uh, you know, it gives the altcoins kind of time to breathe, act, react, without reacting, you know, act on their own. So a lot of these altcoins are doing well, pumping, and I do uh, appreciate it. I don't know. It's nice to flip those shit coins over to Bitcoins. Now, how many will you actually hold throughout the year? Might be a couple, might be a few. I don't know. But, you know, what I'm looking at... Is, is Bitcoin going to hold this uptrend? Because guys, it's only three or four days, really. And three or four days is not anything of a full reversal yet. So hopefully we maintain this the rest of the month. If we see another 14-day run like we saw from last time we hit 6,300 back up to about 84, if we see another time like that, we are in the clear. But until I really see that confirmation, you know, it does look like the buy pressure is coming down the last couple of days. But uh, two days ago, we had such a such a high momentum up that, you know, it might have kind of compensated for that at the time. But again, we're still holding that 5,800 level. And that's the only level we're really looking at. That's the only level I've been looking at this whole time. Because it makes sense from all the way back from 7K, 7.5K down to 5,800 back up to 20. So just like as we maintain that, this might be the first initial shitcoin pump before we really start seeing this market move forward and move up and mature and concentrate its wealth more towards you know bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies guys when more people start doing that that's where really really, really where we're gonna see an endless bull run until we really start stabilizing as a currency but you know what am i looking at right now again just that 5800 level we do have some resistance like short-term resistance uh, right up in this area, actually, it's like right here, 6,800 up to about 7,000. So we do need to break over that before we really see any momentous upswings. Um, we also need to maintain above 6,350. Again, that's still the level that I'm holding as local support. But, you know, we have dipped below it a couple times. But every time we've dipped under it, we've, we've been right over in a couple hours. So we're really just hoping that that maintains. And then, you know, maybe we can get some buy pressure in here, too. So we're a little bit oversold on the one hour. Um, we're kind of dipping back into our uh, liquidity in the one hour. And, you know, 
if we uh maintain the daily like it is we are still very underbought on the daily so we can still have a lot of room to move up i mean we saw it last time we saw 14 days of straight up swing so we could see that again but i'm not holding my breath about it guys we could see a lot of shorts get liquidated we could also see a lot of longs get liquidated too and just dump this thing back down a couple hundred dollars and that would probably kill everybody's mood but again, 5,800 is that one last main, remaining support zone for our actual bull market that we've been in since the beginning of last year. Now, again, if we break that, guys, it's probably going to be a bear trend. And we're going to be confirmed in the bear trend. And we have been in a bear trend the last eight months then. And then it's going to be a bear market. So, again, really, really making sure. But BAT, guys, on a good run right now. Uh, looks to be double bottoming out here. And we really started seeing some upswing. Um, altcoins have all looked like this. So I've, I'm just going to go over one. Uh, BAT, though, definitely looking really solid right now. It does look a little bit overextended. We could see this pump back a little bit, maybe retrace. But it's got good buy support around 3,500 sats, 3,400 sats. I mean, so we could see it. But, you know, it's also got a lot of sell pressure at 35. So... From what I'm looking at, guys, a lot of altcoins are looking the same right now. And this will really determine how, like, a lot of people are probably flipping back to Bitcoin. And Bitcoin's probably about to pump. So, I'm really watching this. But, you know, altcoins definitely kind of reflect where Bitcoin's going to go. When you see the buy pressure on altcoins calm down, it normally means Bitcoin's about to have a massive sell-off or a massive pump. Either which direction. That's what I've noticed over the last, like, four years. It just happens all of the time. Now guys, somebody pointed this out to me, but I've been using World Coin Index for like the longest time ever. Like way before Coin Market Cap. I didn't even know about Coin Market Cap until like the beginning of last year. And then when I did find it out, I was like, oh, this website sucks. But you know, World Coin Index, guys, my favorite crypto website. Like, because it's got all the tickers moving and everything. It's actually really fun to watch. But you see, like, you know, uh, BTC versus everything up here, the Rube. Uh, look at this. Look at this. It like moves. That's awesome. Oh my god, the whole market's moving. It's updating. Guys, it's awesome. I don't know. I don't know why I was like one of the only ones that liked this. But look at Ethereum Classic's number five on here. And Bitcoin Diamond is number six. And I don't know exactly how they, um, you know, price these. But it's just kind of funny because like, I don't know. Last price, it looks like. Well, I don't know. I don't know how they do it. But it's kind of funny to just watch this compared to... um cryptocurrency coin market cap because not only is it just different but i don't know what, i don't know how they value these but it does go by trading volume it has to because vat like that's one of the most highly traded coins right now and dash is pretty high and bitcoin diamond is really high for some reason you know like it's just a different way to measure it but i always thought they were funny so i think it does go by 24 hour bo volume so some days you do see like you know, Ethereum Classic up in the top five, like, today, which is pretty funny. Same thing with Bitcoin Diamond. Like, it's a piece of trash coin, but whatever, you know, whatever works. But, yeah, I think it is trading volume. That's really funny, actually. So, again, I like watching this website because it shows you kind of who is, uh, you know, blowing up and who's not. And you got to always chase the blow-up coins, guys. Like, Quantum might have a hell of a day tomorrow just because it's highly traded today. Or it looks like it's leveling out. Guys, see, all of the coins look the same. They all, like, double-bottomed and then came back up. But it looks like some of them are continuing up. So that leads me to believe that either, you know, a few of them are going to run and, you know, leave some others in the dust. Or we're going to see a lot of Bitcoin running here in a little bit. So I'm holding my breath. But anyways, guys, that's all I really have to say today uh, about everything with that. But, you know, definitely go check out my other videos. and Hit that subscribe button down below. Um, definitely go follow me over at Bitcoin Overdose on Twitter. I'm your daily dose of crypto, guys. I overdose, so you guys don't have to. Now, definitely, we should have looked at Bitcoin dominance. I knew I, I knew I was missing something, guys. You can't get away with me that easy. You know what I'm saying, dogs? So, okay, Bitcoin dominance went from 53% this morning to 51 And obviously, you are going to see the altcoins run whenever Bitcoin moves like that. Because 2% dominance is actually kind of big. But what I've really noticed, guys, and we almost hit 55% yesterday or two, three days ago, and it looks like we've been running with alts for the last three days. It kind of adds up, right? But what I've really noticed is um, back here when we had that altcoin in December, that altcoin December run, 
uh, December, January, end of the year, we saw Bitcoin's uh, volatility go fucking nuts. Like we saw, um, we saw not only the dominance going haywire. I mean, just in you know October sixth, all the way over to about December eighteenth, we saw it trading higher than fifty percent. You know, in the dominance, but it's also like. 60 to low 50 to high 50 to low 50 to high 60 like it went everywhere and um you know we never saw it go over 65 percent, which is pretty interesting because i don't think the market's ever going to do that but if you see here we're seeing such a steep incline right now uh back here in january we're kind of getting that very similar run here you know it's like the same kind of like a uh, formation that was going down so we might see Bitcoin dominance go down quite a bit this year. Who knows? I I don't really want to see that because you know we're over here to overdose on Bitcoin, guys. Your daily dose of crypto. I overdose. So you guys don't have to. Definitely go follow me over at Bitcoin Overdose on Twitter. Definitely uh, know that one Bitcoin always equals one Bitcoin. Buy that dip. I'm pretty bullish. And peace out, fam. See ya.